Trey, I know that you don't feel confident about this, but believe me, you're going to gain a lot of the confidence along the way. A lot's been said about the importance of leadership authenticity. We all like to be following a leader who is honest and real, true enough. At the same time, you've got to remember that when you're in the role of a leader, you're performing in a role. And sometimes what's going on for you on the inside is better not displayed on the outside to others. One leader that I've worked a lot with is a guy named Mike Callahan of the Aldridge Electric Company. He's a senior executive and he tells a story about early on in his career when they were bidding on a major piece of work that would be the largest project that the company had ever done before. Sure enough, they won the project and they gave it to Mike. Now he would go from leading five people to leading 80 people, 16 times larger than any team he had ever led before. As Mike puts it, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, but I couldn't let my people see me freak out. And he's right. You have to remember that you're going to develop a lot of your skills along the way. Your starting point can't be one of freaking out because it'll just cause the people around you to freak out worse. So you've got to demonstrate composure even if that's not what you're feeling on the inside. Sometimes you have to be an authentic, genuine faker. If you'd like to learn how to be a stronger leader, how to be occasionally a genuine faker, I invite you to download a sample chapter from my new book, A Leadership Kick in the Ass, at couragebuilding.com slash kickass.